Okay, hello fourth grade. Um, today is day th day thirteen of our video lessons. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all safe and and staying indoors. All right. Before we begin uh today's lesson, I just want to remind you all of yesterday's exit ticket. All right. I should say fourth grade religion exit ticket. And remember, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to yesterday's video, um, and then you're gonna grade your own religion test. All right. So you're gonna grade your test for chapter seven, for chapter eight, for the unit two wrap up, and then for chapter nine, all right? You're gonna put in your scores right here. The answers for your test are in yesterday's video, so it's very important that you all um, complete it, okay? So far, I only have 23 out of the 29 students, all right? So there's six of you who have not completed it. Please do so as quickly as possible, otherwise you will not get a religion grade, all right? um and that is it remember to complete your today's exit ticket it should look like this it should say um m5 l12 and then that is your exit ticket question for today and then just hit submit okay remember that's how i'm taking roll if you complete it on time um you are marked as present if not you are marked as absent all right so that is all i have if you have any other questions go ahead and just message me in the remind Oh, and also Ms. Gillespie wanted me to remind you all that your Google Meet are going to be uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m., okay? Uh, but now go ahead and get started on your warm-up. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, so number one says, if you cut a square in half, what would happen? Well, this is a different type of question, right, that we've been doing so far. And for this one, I think it's very important that we actually draw it. Well, if I cut a square in half, uh, it's more like a rectangle. Let me make it more like a square. Hang on, I want to make it exact. All right, that looks more like a square. All right, well, if I cut it in half, let's say that this blue dot is a cut in half. Well, now this side over here is the same as this side. Now, what if I were to cut it the other way? What if I were to cut it this way? Well, now this side is the same as this side, right? And that's it. That's all you need to do for uh, number one. Number two, if you cut a circle in half, what would happen? Let's go ahead and do the same thing. I'll draw as perfect of a circle I can make it. All right. If I cut it in half, let's say this way, now this side is the same as this side, right? What if I cut it in half the other way? Well, now this side is the same as this side, right? Now, there are other ways you can cut the square in half, and there are other ways you can cut this circle in half as well. Um, but for right now, we're just doing those two examples that I just did, okay? Now, I ask these questions as a warm-up questions because it's going to be what we're talking about today. We're going to be talking about lines of symmetry. Now, I've spent some time trying to think of the best definition that's going to make sense for us. And I think this is what I've come up with, all right? This is our definition for lines of symmetry. This is our objective today. Learn what lines of symmetry are. So lines of symmetry are lines that create two identical shapes, okay? Now, parents and students, if you were to look up the definition of symmetry online, um, on Google maybe, you'll get a lot of different answers, all right? But I think this answer that I have created is probably gonna make the most sense for us for today, all right? So. Please copy this down. Go ahead and pause the video and copy this down right here. All right, so lines of symmetry. Let's say that we have a square, much like our warm-up problem. Well, this square has a lot of lines of symmetry because much like our warm-up, if I were to cut it like this, this red line right here Is a line of symmetry because if I were to create if I were to cut this in half then this side the left side of the square 
is the same as this side of the square, the right side. And that is what lines of symmetry are. It creates two identical shapes. This side right here is the same as this side. So this red line is a line of symmetry. Now, what if I were to cut it? Let me erase this red line. What if I were to cut it uh, this way? Is this blue line a line of symmetry? Yes, right? Because now this side right here, the top side, is the same as this bottom side. Both of these are identical. Both of these shapes are identical. Therefore, this blue line is a line of symmetry as well. So how many lines of symmetry have we found so far? We found this red line and this blue line, right? Let's see, let me find, let's see if we can find another one, right? So far we have two, the blue line and the red line. Um, what if I were to cut it, what if I were to cut it uh, like this? Is this orange line, is this orange line right here a line of symmetry? No, it is not. Okay, because now this side right here, the top side, is not the same size as this one right here. This orange part, that's more like a rectangle. And here, well, we have just a bigger square. So this orange line right here, it is not a line of symmetry. It does not cut the square into two identical pieces. Remember, the keyword is identical. Identical means the same. This top part is not the same size or shape as this bottom part. Okay, so this orange line is line is not a line of symmetry. Hmm, let's see. Where can I find another one? Where can another line of symmetry is around here? Hmm. Did you all find one? Because I think I just found one. Right here, look. If I were to cut this and actually I'm use a ruler. Maybe right there. If I were to cut it in half like that, is this purple line a line of symmetry? Yes, it is, right? This side right here is the same as this side. Same shape, same size. It is a line of symmetry. This purple line is a line of symmetry. Now, when you see the word line of symmetry, this word here, symmetry, think of a mirror, right? If we were to put a mirror let's say right there, then this side should be equal to the reflected side, right? A lot of the times when we have symmetry, it's a good idea just to have like a small mirror um, so you can double check, all right? I don't have a mirror today, um, but hopefully I can find one and I can show you how it all works tomorrow, all right? Okay. Now let's go ahead and look at another shape. Let's go ahead and look at, um, let's see, let's look at a triangle. And I'm trying to make these shapes as, as clean and neat as I can make them, all right? All right, let's try to find lines of symmetry in this triangle, all right? And what you can do is you can pause the video and see if you can find your own lines of symmetry for this triangle. Okay, if you're, able to, if you're able to find some, that's good. But if not, that's okay. Because we're just getting started on it. But all right, let's see. Let's, see, let's say I come across this triangle. And we have to think, all right? Where can I find the line of symmetry? Well, what if I put it right here? This red line. Is this red line a, li a line of symmetry? Well, I asked myself, now I have two pieces. I have this piece over here on top and this piece over here at the bottom. Lines of symmetry have to create two identical shapes. So two same shapes. Is this shape here on top the same as this shape here at the bottom? No. Therefore, it is not a line of symmetry. My red line that I had just drawn is not a line of symmetry. This triangle or this shape here is a triangle, this shape down here, that's not a triangle. So it does not create two identical shapes. All right, hmm. Let's see. 
What if I were to do one like this? Is this orange line of line symmetry? No, absolutely not. This shape is not the same as this shape over here. This orange line is not a line of symmetry. All right. Now, hmm. Oh, I think I found one finally. Look, if we cut it straight down the middle, if I cut it straight down the middle, now this blue line is a line of symmetry, right? Because look, this side, the right side, is the same as this left side. Same shape, same size, it is a line of symmetry. Yes, I'm gonna put one for one line of symmetry so far. So far. Let's see if I can find another one. Well, if I cut this point in half and made it down the middle, then I could do the same for this one, right? Let's try it out. If I cut it down the middle like that, that is also a line of symmetry because look, this size is the same as this size. Now I have been erasing it from the line before, so it kind of looks not symmetrical but I promise you it is. I just drew it a little bit weird. But if you look at it carefully, this size, I mean, this side is the same as this side. They're both triangles and they're both equally the same shape and size, all right? So this is another line of symmetry. I have found two so far, two lines of symmetry. All right. Well, I, I cut it in half from here and then from here, well, I could do it from also this point here. Now again, because the way I didn't draw it perfectly, so it looks like one size is not, one shape is not the same size as the other one, but, but it is, I just drew it because I have kept erasing it. It looks a little bit not, um, not symmetrical. But again, I promise you, it is, it is, right? This side right here, this side right here, is the same as this shape. Okay, so therefore this line of symmetry is correct. So I have in a triangle, in a triangle I have one line of symmetry, remember the one that was drawn here, the other line of symmetry, and then this line of symmetry. So I have three lines of symmetry in this triangle right here, okay? Another word that you might see come up in your worksheet is symmetrical. Symmetrical and symmetry are the same thing. Symmetrical just means that one side is equal to the other side. One side is equal to the other side. Again, think of like a mirror. Imagine you have a mirror there. One side is gonna have to look exactly the same as the other side, right? Now, let's go ahead, I want everybody just to look at your hand, okay? Can we find any lines of symmetry in our hand? Let's say that we were to draw a line here, right there, is this top half of our hand the same as this bottom half? No, absolutely not. I have fingers over here and I have palms over here. So this right here is not a line of symmetry. Now, what if I were to cut it, let's say, now imaginary cut, right? We're not actually gonna cut our hands. Down there. Is this side the same as this side? No, right? Because this side I have a thumb, this side I have a pinky. So no, these are not symmetrical. Now, what you can do too, because I'm not gonna show you it, but find a mirror in your house and look at your face. You're gonna find, but I, will, I won't show you my face, but I will draw it. There's a line of symmetry right here in, in the face, right? Because if you were to draw a line straight down the middle, 
you will find that this side is the same as this side, right? They are equal reflections. They are symmetrical, right? On this side, you have uh, eye and then your mouth. And then on this side, you also have your eye and the mouth and your mouth. And they're the same size, all right? So that's what we're doing today. We're finding lines of symmetry. We're trying to find out if shapes are symmetrical. So let's go ahead and take a look at your virtue. You should be on lesson 12, right? And I think everybody should have uh, three pages. This one, this one, and this one, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this first page, page 194. Alright, so number one says, circle the figures that have a correct line of symmetry drawn, okay? So that means that they have lines of symmetry, but we're going to choose the ones that are correct. So let's go ahead and take a look at part A. Part A, the line of symmetry is drawn straight down the middle of the arrow. Well, hmm, is this side of the arrow the same shape and size as this side of the arrow? Yes, it is. So this is correct. This line of symmetry that they draw, that they drew, is correct. Now, what about this one? Part B, the line of symmetry that they drew is right there. Is this side of the shape the same as this, shut up, this side of the shape? Yes, it is, right? This size, I mean, this side, you have the shape going like that. And then on this side, you have the shape going like that. So it is symmetrical. The line of symmetry is correct. Now what about this one? Hmm, that one looks a little confusing. Let's take a closer look at it. Is this side of the shape the same as this side? No, this one is bigger. This one's like a bigger rectangle than this one. And remember, our definition is that the lines of symmetry are lines that create two identical. Again, remember, identical is the important part. And this this side is not to, is not identical to this side, so no, not this one. This line of symmetry is not correct. Now, part D, we have the line of symmetry going down the middle. Is this side identical to this side? Yeah, it's perfect, right? Imagine if we had a mirror right there, then it'll it'll be identical, right? So this is another correct one. All right. Now, for the rest of them, you're going to find and draw all lines of symmetry for all of these shapes, all right? And then you're going to write down how many lines of symmetry you found in the space below. So, for example, for this one, hmm, where can I draw a line of symmetry so that both sides are equal and identical? Well, I think there's one right here, right? Because this side is the same as this side. So there's one right there. Hmm, where's another one? If I were to cut it in half, maybe? Actually, no. Because if I were to cut it in half this way, this, the top part, is not the same as this bottom part. They're different shapes, different sizes, so that is not one. Hmm, so so far I have found one. Let's see. Oh, maybe if I cut it like this. And actually, I would do it in a different color. This purple line. Is the purple line a line of symmetry? Hmm, that one's a tricky one, huh? So the purple line is in fact not, it is not a line of symmetry because this side, look, it looks a little bit smaller than this side. This side over here looks like a big triangle. This one right here looks like a smaller triangle. So I think for this shape, we only have one line of symmetry. All right, so we would just put one. And then that's it, that's all you're gonna do. Um, you're gonna do the same for the rest of these problems, find lines of symmetry. And then for this page, you're gonna use lines of symmetry. So they draw, they drew half of the part, 
So what you're going to do is you're going to pretend that there's a mirror here, and then you're going to draw the rest of the shape. So, something like, uh, something like that, right? You're going to complete the full shape because they only drew half of it. So you're going to complete the full shape. So for this one, you're going to draw the equal piece to this side and then same for this one and then same for this one. Okay. And then this one is a cool um, little activity. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to find lines of symmetry in these shapes. All right. And hint, we already did our hand. We already figured out that there are no lines of symmetry here. Okay, so if you find a line of symmetry in this page, go ahead and just draw it and then draw as many as you can find. All right. So that is it for our math. Um, if you need to, you can go ahead and rewind and see the examples that we did here or the examples that we did um, here. But as of right now, this is it for our math. Please be sure to complete your math exit ticket. And again, it's kind of fun, right? Once you've figured out how lines of symmetry work, it's kind of just like solving a puzzle, I think. All right. So for your science, for your science, you are going to complete this page right here. Hang on. Give me a second. All right. You're going to do this one. What do you think? It is page 181. It should say week seven, life science. All right. So this week for science, we're learning about animals, animals behavior. Um, and here, let me just show you all what week we're on. So you don't get confused. Week seven. I'm oh, sorry, we're not on animal behavior. We're on endangered species. Fifth grade is an animal behavior. I'm sorry. So, this, or this article, this week's unit, is about um, endangered animals. Because animals are becoming, some animals are becoming endangered. Meaning that they are about to go extinct, right? Meaning that once they're, once the last animal unfortunately dies, that means there's going to be no more of them. Um, I don't know if some of you, maybe it comes out on CNN 10 or something like that. This rhino here, there's very, very few of them. And if anything, I think the black rhino, there's only about two left in the whole world. And so what does it mean when the last two die? It means that they go extinct, okay? That they die forever. A very famous example is probably the saber-toothed tiger. Spell it out. So the saber-toothed tiger was a tiger that went extinct. Here, let me find a picture of it. This tiger. This tiger right here. Now, this animal went extinct, all right? Now, why do animals go extinct though? Well, that's what our article is, talk is talking about. One is poaching. Poaching is when there's hunters. So the horn on this rhino and this black rhino, um, it is worth a lot of money. So what do you think some people might do? They might kill the whole animal and just take the horns and then sell it. That's called poaching. Poaching is when there's hunters illegally um, hunting animals, all right? Deforestation. Deforestation is another reason why some animals might go extinct because a lot of the animals, they live in the forest. And if you're cutting down this, the, their trees, you're cutting down their homes, they're not going to have anywhere to live. Imagine if someone just went into your home and started destroying everything. Where are you going to go live? Right? And that's what's happening to a lot of these animals. Another one is whaling. So whaling is specifically for whales because again, whales are very valuable. They have a lot of material inside them, like their blubber. It is used for a lot of stuff. So a lot of um, people go out to hunt them. And so whales 
are endangered species. And that's what this uh, that's what this unit is about. Where are they going? Endangered species. Where are these animals going that that are endangered? So this worksheet right here is you're just going to have to do a little um little research maybe. What do you think about these animals? Do you think that they are endangered? Um uh, or maybe you think that they have gone extinct already? So go ahead and use, you know, your internet, maybe you have a book, research these animals. And on the space provided right here, just write down what do you know about them? You know, are they endangered? Maybe there's a lot of them. Maybe they're extinct. Maybe there's only one left in the world. Um, so any information that you find about that animal, you could go ahead and put it um, here. All right. And, um, you know, just be safe online. Remember, we have to be uh, trustworthy digital citizens. That's it for your um for your science, and then for your social studies. For your social studies, let me bring it out. All right. So yesterday you were supposed to re to complete uh, the entire um, social studies unit, um, and we're learning about you know, the first Californians um, to visit. So let me just take out the correct unit so you all know which one you're supposed to be on. We are on week 10 early explorers visit California. This one, okay? So for yesterday, they talked to you about different... Um, European settlers, okay? These are all people that came to California in its early days. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and take out this paper, page 18, and you're gonna think about what it, what it would have been like for one of the explorers of the coast of California. You're gonna choose one explorer and write from his or her point of view. And you're gonna include details that you um, from the text that you read about um, to help explain what you did during your exploration. But you're also going to include how you think the explorer would have felt during the trip. So you're going to put yourself in one of these explorer's shoes, right? What do you think was going on in their mind as, you know, as they were first visiting California, right? You're going to pretend you're them. Um, maybe talk like them as well, okay? Um, you can include a little dialogue. You should complete this whole, um, this whole section, all right? But um, that is it for your social studies. And then for your religion, you're just going to go ahead and do your um, next chapter, your next activity. Okay. Um, but that is it, everybody. Again, please be sure that you have filled out, that you put in your scores for your religion. Again, I only got 23 out of 29 students. So please be sure that you put this up. Um, complete your exit ticket for math. That's from today. Remember, this religion exit ticket, you can find it. On yesterday's video this is the one for today and uh, that's it all right everybody so I hope you're all well and safe and I will see you all tomorrow hopefully um, during our zoom meeting at two o'clock um, all right have a great day